welcome to video tutorial 7. In the last tutorial we looked at entrance animation effects and in this tutorial we'll round things off by looking at exit animation effects. At the moment we've got our explorer and our sailor and if we press play uh, the explorer gets drawn followed by the sailor and they both stay on the canvas. That's because we haven't specified any exit effect for them. Uh, let's double click <coughs> excuse me, on the hunter, that's what the explorer not sure if he's a hunter or explorer. So to select him, come down, open the properties, and these are the effects, the entrance effects we've already looked at. Um, we haven't looked at yet is the exit effects. You can see the default is do nothing, and that means that you won't have an exit effect because you're not doing anything, and that's why the object stays on the canvas. However, we can select one of two exit effects. We can have fade out or drag out. So, for example, if we select fade out, um, not sure why that's jumping up and when, we, when we do that, uh, I'm sure that's a little bug that will be fixed. Uh, if we select fade out, then we have to remember, <coughs> excuse me, to set a drawing time because we want this to fade out, but the drawing time at the moment is zero. If we don't uh, set a drawing time and we just apply that and press play, then he will just disappear instantaneously. Okay, so. If we now come in, uh, we've got fade out, and let's set the drawing time to, again, you can use the sliding bars, or you can click on here. Let's set, set the fade out to two seconds. OK, and we apply, and OK. So now if we press play, we can see he's fading out over two seconds before the uh, sailor is drawn. OK, as well as... Uh, fade out, we also have drag out. Okay, that's definitely something wrong with that, isn't there? Um, and again, uh, when we select drag out, these arrow option buttons uh, are now um, activated and we can use them. So we can drag him off the canvas in any direction. Let's say we want him to move to the left, so we click on that one there. Uh, we've got a drawing time of two seconds, so we'll apply that. Okay, and now if we draw him, he draws and then he goes off to the left as we wanted and the sailor is drawn. Okay, there's a couple of other uh, things to look at in here. Uh, we've got two other, <coughs> excuse me, two other sliders, the delay after and the translation. Now, uh, the delay after is the time that EasySketch Pro will wait after the object is drawn before it starts doing the exit effect. So it's the delay after uh, the, if you like, the entrance effect is completed uh, before the exit effect is executed. Um, if I show you what I mean, let's set this to uh, three seconds. Okay, and we'll apply that. And now, we, the, the hunter is drawn, and we've got a delay after of three seconds, so it will wait three seconds, and then it goes off. Okay, and then the sailor's drawn. Now, uh, it's important to <coughs> realize that effectively the delay after and the pause um, are added together. Remember when we looked at the entrance effect, the pause was um, the pause after the object was drawn before the next object was drawn, but that was because we didn't have an exit effect. Now we've got an exit effect, so the pause will be pause after it's drawn before the exit effect happens. Are you following me? Um, and if we've set a delay after, then effectively the pause and the delay after will be added together before the exit happens. So at the moment we've got a delay after of three seconds. That means we draw the object, uh, finish drawing the object, wait three seconds, and then we have the exit effect. However, if we also had a pause, let's put that to three seconds. Now the object will be drawn, uh, it will wait three seconds and it would normally then go on to another object if there was no exit effect, but because there's an exit effect it, these, these values ha are relevant and so there's a delay after it's drawn of three seconds before the exit effect happens. So we should see that the object will be drawn and it will, the system will wait uh, three plus three equals six seconds before the exit effect happens. OK, let me show you what I mean. So in this case, the object's drawn. And if you look up here, it 
it's going to be up to at nine seconds. There we go, and he goes off. And then the sailor is drawn. Now, there is one final slider here, which is translation. Um, the translation is the time uh, after the exit of uh, the object before the next object starts drawing. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. First, let's get rid of this pause because we don't need it. We've got three seconds up here. Let's uh, we've got drawing time of two seconds, and let's make the translation another three seconds. Okay, so now we would expect the object to be drawn. Uh, for it to wait three seconds, then the exit effect happens, then we wait another three seconds, um, and then the next object's drawn. So let's, uh, let's see if that's what happens. Here we go, the explorer is drawn, it waits three seconds, and then it's off, and now we wait another three seconds before the sailor is drawn. Okay, I hope this is making sense. Okay, um, if you're finding this at all confusing, and I don't blame you, uh, then just play around with it. Um, you know, you can't break anything and see what the effect is of uh, altering these various uh, sliders. But in summary, uh, the drawing time is the time it takes uh, for EasySketch Pro to actually do the drawing, um, whether that's by hand or dragging in or whatever, unless it's do nothing, in which case it's just instantaneous. Um, the delay before is how long it waits um, when this object has got the focus, if you like, before it starts doing the entrance effect. The pause is how long it waits before, after it's drawn the object before either moving on to the, the next object if there's no exit effect or if there's an exit effect, it's the pause before it starts doing the exit effect. The fading, as we've seen, is the, the time it takes to actually colour in the object. Uh, if we've got exit effects specified, i.e. other than do nothing, either fade out or drag out, then the delay after is going to be the time after the entrance effect has happened before it starts in, um, executing the exit effect. Uh, the drawing time uh, is the time it takes to execute the exit effect, and the translation is the time after the exit effect has happened before uh, Easy Sketch Pro switches focus to the next object. Okay, so the only uh, thing to note here is that if you've got an exit effect specified, then the pause and the delay after are effectively the same. So if you set them both, um, it will be the total time of those two uh, after the object's drawn before the exit effect takes place. There you are, that's a uh, piece of cake. I should say there's a table in the user guide which uh, actually goes through all of these timings and illustrates how they work. So if you found this at all confusing, do refer to the user guide. Um, there's just a couple of other options on here. Uh, request focus. Um, remember I said the first object that you put on a, on a canvas <clears throat> needs to have uh, request focus set. Um, you can either do that um, by uh, right clicking on the object and selecting request focus or you can change it in here in the uh, effects options. Grayscale mode uh, as its name suggests if we select that apply and OK uh, the objects drawn effectively in monochrome like so which might you might want to use if you want to sort of black and white movie effect, I don't know. Okay, uh, wait for that to be drawn like so. Um, and that covers everything actually in here, I think. Um, one final point to note, just to confuse you even more, uh, is that if you've got multiple objects, um, obviously uh, if we take, for example, the sailor, because he's the second object <coughs> here, uh, the delay before here is the delay before the entrance effect starts happening and uh, that effectively will be added to the, delay, the translation time here. So after this object is finished exiting there will be a translation time here before the next object starts but if the next object has got a delay before then that's going to be added on as well so you just have to bear that in mind when you're, um, when you're using these things. Okay. Um, combining the entrance and exit effects you can get some interesting uh, eff 
effects. Actually, let's let's get rid of the sailor for a moment, and uh, let's move him to the middle of the screen. Say so there. Uh, if we go to properties, and if we have, for example, drag in, and uh, we'll have him coming in from the bottom left-hand corner, and let's have it happening over one second, and then we'll have an exit effect of drag out and we'll have him go out to the top right hand corner here and let's set the drawing time to one second and we don't sorry oops wrong one uh, let's set that to zero let's set this to drawing time to one second and we'll have no translation and let's take him off grayscale and apply that and now if you press play comes in here and he goes straight out to go <clears throat> which is quite good if you want sort of a fly in fly in or fly out effect um, let's just do that again here he comes and off he's got if you have sort of Superman image of Superman or a superhero um, or you can get him to um, pounce if you like let's have him down here set the properties we'll drag him in um, from the top left for a second and we'll have him drag out uh, in the same direction, top right. If we apply that, OK, press play, here he goes, and he bounces off. So you, that's useful if you want to do something like somebody jumping or a ball or whatever. Just thought I'd throw that in. It's, uh, you can combine these things and have some quite good fun with it. OK, that's the end of this uh, video tutorial. See you in the next one.